Okay, hi there, my name is Scott Whitlock. I'm the president of Flexware Innovation. We were started 20 years ago as a manufacturing execution systems integrator, an MES integrator. So I'm often asked, what is MES? This is my little, what is MES talk? So uh, one of the things that we have uh, defined as some flows within the manufacturing environment are, are the planning, execution, and monitoring flows. And we kind of use these as we refer to what MES systems do. So here's my manufacturing line. In this case, uh, we're gonna manufacture furnaces today. So here's my little furnaces going down the line. I've got a start of assembly, an assembly area, a test area, and a shipping area. I've got a couple of feeder lines that are feeding some parts into our assembly area. So what, what is the MES system? It's really an electronic system. Um, it helps us become paperless, more efficient, and um, really error-proof and collect data in a much more efficient way. So I'm gonna draw you know, just a server up here. A server is probably going to have a database in it. It's going to be have connectivity out to the line. There's going to be usually some sort of an MES terminal along the line somewhere that an operator can interface with the system. There's probably other things uh, tied into this MES system, automation and barcode scanners and printers and things like that. Um, but from a flow perspective, we talk about the planning thing first. The first thing we're going to think about is a schedule. And you know maybe we're going to have three line items on our schedule and we'll maybe have some quantities you know 65 of those 100 of these you know 72 of those and so an operator at the beginning of the line is going to look at the schedule and know what to do to start these particular uh, models on the line and so they start out with maybe some barcode labeling or printing going on then we get to an assembly area and this is really where we start getting into the execution flow where we are defining that it is okay for model one that we have over here to get part one and part two from our feeder lines and that those are okay and validated parts or subassembly parts for that particular furnace unit. We move on and that's really the, we, the execution phase of an MES system is going to error proof that and make sure that that's okay and then collect the data as well back to the monitoring phase and make sure that we know that those parts went into that furnace. Really a traceability type, type of a function. We get the test and an MES system would download parameters to the test cell or, or whatever testing system we have here to say, once I've made my furnace, these are the testing specifications that it needs to comply to or the quality that we need to have. And so that might be you know, just a number of different metrics in there that we need once we test, we say it's okay. So our furnace is okay to ship. It goes on down the line. In a shipping, we're probably printing some sort of a barcode label, a shipping label, maybe a confirmation or birth certificate or something like that. And we're probably also, all the way along the line, and especially at shipping, we're probably feeding that information back to the MES system and ultimately maybe back up to our ERP system to, to keep track of inventory and quality and um, maybe even labor statistics and things like that. And that's all part of the monitoring phase of what an MES system does. So again, just to recap, this is really what Flexware was started for in 1996, was to implement these manufacturing execution systems. So this is just a brief overview of, in the red really of how an MES system works, how it implements on a shop floor, and uh, this is what we love helping our customers with.